Michelle and I, and this is the astrological update for Pisces for the week starting the 30th of April. Now, this week, Venus, the planet of love, is in your fourth house, and it's sextiling Mercury in the second. This is saying if you want pleasurable and sensual delights, do it at home. You want to be around your home, you want things to be beautiful, light some candles, put on some romantic music do something different, meditate, have a bit of tantra with someone, but you want to connect on a very intimate level around your home. Also, you're looking at what makes you feel secure in your relationship and you're doing nice things for your partner if you're in a relationship. If you're not in a relationship, there's a possibility that someone in your family could introduce you to someone. You may be thinking, I don't think so, but life is often stranger than fiction. So be open to any invitations from people you consider to be family. Now in this 21st century, family doesn't necessarily mean, you know, mum, dad, sisters and brothers. Our friends can be family. There are many different sorts of family, but be open to other people's suggestion when it comes to your love life this week, because there's a little bit of extra magic there. Now the full moon is in your ninth house, hooray. It's making you adventurous. It's making you stretch yourself. It's making you look at new philosophies. It's making you go, yeah. I am confident to go on an adventure. I am confident to stretch and expand myself and do what I need to do to go to the next level. And you're also really kicking your fears away. You know, Saturn in the eighth is going, something terrible could happen if you go on an adventure. And you're going, I don't care. I trust in myself and I trust in my spiritual journey. And Neptune is telling me I rock. So I'm doing what I want to do. Enjoy, take care, and I'll speak to you soon.